Hello and welcome to Simple RV Cooking with Melissa. Hey y'all, how you doing? You know, it's almost Christmas time. Are you ready? And we are in Georgia right now and I have lost my voice. Yes, because the beautiful thing of allergies here <laughs> gets me every season. Ugh! Anyway, so excuse my voice, but I wanted to give you guys a little heads up. Um, in the past four weeks, we have changed our eating habits. Yes, we have. Um, we are actually doing more plant-based, and um, we still do a few things, you know, uh, as far as a, a few things dairy, but we're trying to get away from that and, and uh, just really change our lives. Uh, Donnie, my husband, has a really bad back, and um, so we have been trying to get him to eat more so he can lose weight and feel better so his back can get more relief. And so he's lost 20 pounds already, and I've lost a few pounds. My size 16 pants are, like, falling off of me, <laughs> so that's great. So, yeah, and I still want to incorporate simple RV cooking ideas, but you can do it in a healthy way while you're on the road, and you'll feel better and it tastes good. That's what I'm talking about, is food that's healthy but tastes good. So, today we're going to do healthy vegan burritos. Um, almost all healthy. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have uh, the, um, the, the spinach wraps, the spinach um, tortillas that I would like to use, uh, but I have flour tortillas, but you know, that's something that you can incorporate when you go to the store. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to get started and we're going to do it with, yes, tofu. And we have this tofu right here that we get at Walmart for $1.44 and it's good and it's healthy. And I'm going to show you how to, how to prep tofu because it's very simple and we're going to incorporate this into everything else we're going to be using so stay with me you're going to love it so what we're going to do first is you're going to take your tofu and it does have a lot of water in it so you're going to want to cut this package can you see me here there we go Cut the package, and you want to want to drain the water first. And it's almost, honestly, tofu is almost like a sponge, and it doesn't have a lot of flavor. It doesn't have any flavor actually. But what you do is you incorporate all of your seasonings, and it's how you prepare tofu. Okay, it's how you prepare it to make it taste good, and then you're getting something healthy. So you're going to put, um, you're going to take a clean towel or paper towels and you're going to press it down and try to get a lot of that water moisture out of the tofu. Okay. And we're only going to use half of this today. So you can use the other half for another, you know, whatever you want. Okay. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I got a, most of the water out, and so what you're going to want to do is cut it in half. And you can use the whole block if you have a big family, but I'm only going to use half and then save the other half for later so we can have it for something else tomorrow. And um, so what you're going to do is just set this to the side right now, okay? Then you're going to do, I went ahead and got it ready just so you know, I went ahead and prepared my zucchini, but I took two things of zucchini and I chiced, <laughs> chiced, <laughs> I uh, sliced and diced them small and I used seasonings. And that's one of the thing that what you do is you take um, a tablespoon of olive oil, okay? And you're gonna put it in there and then you're gonna put your seasonings. So what I did is I did a dash of oregano, dash of paprika, a dash of cumin, a dash of chili powder, a dash of cinnamon, 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 a dash of Himalayan salt, okay, and then I mixed it all up in the bowl, and I'm going to set it to the side while I get my pan ready, and um, let me show you, give me just a second. 
Oops. Wait. Did it? Nope. Okay, so I've got my pan on medium low, um, or yeah, medium low here on the, the, the stove. And then I'm going to do coconut oil. And you know, you can get this at your Dollar Tree. <laughs> Just saying. There's a tablespoon. I'm going to pop it in there. And I'm going to let that kind of, you know, get melted. And then we'll add our zucchini. And make sure when you're doing this that you're going to want a, um, a lid to put over the top. Okay, because we're going to steam it a little bit. Okay, and let it get the flavors, you know, all yummy in there. It's going to be really good. And um, it's getting there. So we'll come back in just a second. And while we're waiting on the, ol or the olive oil, <laughs> the coconut oil to melt, another thing that we're, you're going to need for this is jasmine rice and black beans. So you can take a can of black beans, really simple, strain them, rinse them, okay? And then make you just steam up some jasmine rice. And then after the rice is cooked, then throw in your beans so the beans can get a little warm with the uh, rice. So I already have it prepared because I make extra so we have it for the next day because that's how we do this. That's how we roll with the baby. Roll, roll, roll. All right, look, it looks like it's getting nice and nice and uh, ready to go. So we're gonna stick our zucchini in there first with all those spices. Because that's the key, is using a lot of flavor. You want flavor. You know what I'm saying? Where's my, oh yeah. I never have a spoon, do I? <laughs> I'm never ready. It's so funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you're going to get those in there. And you might turn it up just a little bit. Maybe medium high would be better, actually. So we'll put it on medium high. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I sound like I need water, but... <laughs> It's just, I've lost my voice. It's gone. I can't sing for you. I could try. Hey, Mambo, Mambo Italiano. Hey, hey. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of water because you want it to steam. So the best way to get it to steam is use just, you know, a little pinch of water. All right, and then put that, the, um, the lid on top of it and let it kind of cook for a few minutes, and then we'll be right back, and we'll add some more magic. Magic, magic, magic. <laughs> you hear that sizzle? So you want it to sizzle, and it's got the water in there to keep the moisture. Kind of, ooh, it smells good, y'all. Oh yeah. Ooh, that smells good with that cinnamon, the little pinch of cinnamon, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, and you know what else we could put in there? <gasps> lime. Now, if you have fresh lime, of course, but I'm a full-time RVer, and I have this kind of lime. <laughs> we have to improvise. Put a little dash of lime in there with it. Oh, yeah, that's going to be good, y'all. Woo-hoo. Okay, so we're going to let that uh, condense down, and while we do that... Let's see. You need to get an avocado and cut your avocado because um, you're going to have that too, and that's going to be yummy. Let me get a plate. Okay, y'all, so take your avocado. I'm going to teach you a little trick if you don't already know this. And you just take it. You're going to cut it all the way around because there's a seed in there just in case if you didn't know that. Okay, and then... You're going to take a butter knife and a spoon, which I never have. <laughs> and you see how you cut it like that? You cut it all the way down. Then you're just going to take your spoon and you're going to scoop it out. Voila! Look at that. And you just stick it in there. Look at that. Look at that. See? So you'll have little slices, but you don't have to sit there and, you know, it's mushy, so it's not easy to do. <laughs> but it's easier that way. So you're going to put all of your avocado in a bowl and set it to the side while this is still cooking. Oh, yeah. 
give it a few more minutes and then we'll add some more specialty. Hey, and make sure you get some tortillas. Of course, flour tortillas are really not the healthiest, but that's all I have right now. But like the spinach ones, they have all different types you can get. Um, but this is what we have on the shelf today. So there you go. Who remembers friends? <laughs> I sound like with my with my sinus cold. Smelly cat, smelly cat. I love a smelly cat. <laughs> Uh, if you haven't watched Friends, you won't get that, so I'm sorry. But, uh, hey, so we got this going. It's smelling good. All those seasonings. Oh, yeah. Okay. So now we can let it kind of open it up now. It's been, I don't know, probably about seven minutes in there. And then you're going to let it just kind of, you just watch it. and You can kind of press on it and see if it's getting soft, that kind of thing. Because you want it to be soft. So, really, when it gets into the tortilla, nobody even knows that it's squash <laughs> or zucchini. They have no clue. And you can use squash if you want. I just use zucchini because it's what I had. Um, but you could probably use anything you want to, really. Um, and, um, and if you're not into tofu, you can do uh, turkey or chicken. Um, you know, ground it up and, and do that instead. Um, but I'm doing the tofu because we're going to be good. We're going to be good girls and boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's all the singing today. I can't do it. My voice is going, no, nope, sorry. Can't do it for you. You have to wait. Okay. So, anyway, we're going to kind of let that incorporate and let the, the water kind of get um, evaporated. And then we'll be ready to go. Okay, our zucchini is cooked down. It looks good. It's ready to add the tofu or your chicken or your or your ground uh, uh, turkey, whatever you want to do. Um, but this is our tofu. I'm going to do half of the block. And all you're going to do is shred. I'd like just crumble it. You're just going to crumble it like this. That's all you're going to do. It's easy. It's really light. It's kind of spongy. It's cool. I like. I like it. I like the texture. Um, and then you're just going to put that all in there and you'll incorporate a little bit more seasonings on top of the tofu so it has flavor. That's the key because like I said, tofu has no flavor, but it has a lot of nutrition. It's so good for you, y'all. I'm telling you, I don't care what they say. It's good for you. It's good for you. It's healthy. It's healthy for you. All right. Wash my hands because it's a little messy. <laughs> you're going to take some soy sauce and you're going to do, um, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon and a half like that. Some more paprika. I'm just pinching, kind of put enough over the top, make it look pretty. Give it some color, pretty color. A little, let's do a little bit, just a dash of cinnamon. Just a dash, a dash of cumin again. Cumin, you don't have to put too much because it's got, it's pretty strong in flavor. So you got that, and then a little oregano. And a little dash of chili powder. Bam, I like a lot. <laughs> I'm doing three dashes. And then a little bit of Salt and whoops, we can do it like that. And then you'll just start incorporating it into your dish with your zucchini. Zucchini. And you're gonna let that cook. Okay. Probably a couple of minutes. You'll know because it'll be, you know, you want it to cook in there. Mush it around. There we go. It almost looks like scrambled eggs. <laughs> uh. But with the jasmine rice and the black beans and the avocado, I'm telling you, it's so good. And we'll do a little bit more lime juice. Because it'll taste good with that chili powder and the paprika. Ah, yeah. Okay, so we'll let that incorporate. 
Kind of let that sit for three to four minutes and we'll be back. Okay, so it's ready. So what you're going to want to do is it's going to look like this. Yummy, yummy for my tummy. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is I'm going to put you down here. Oh, make sure you um, heat up a tortilla like in the microwave or you can do it on the grill, whatever you want to do. And then um, get your rice, your um, avocado and everything ready to go. So we're just going to put this down here so you can see what I'm going to do. And then you're just going to want to take this and take a little bit of this. Of your mixture stick it in there okay and your little and you can get the bigger ones that make big burritos I just didn't have them this is all I had so it's kind of like a taco burrito <laughs> it's a pretend burrito okay then you're gonna take your rice and you don't need a whole lot unless you want a whole lot with those black beans and then some avocado your sliced avocado and a little bit of this is optional because I like lime juice so a little lime juice bam and you can make it in I guess we could try to make it into a burrito see if it'll work will it work oh yeah there we go yeah okay so here we go are you ready <laughs> the taste test drum roll <laughs> That looks good, y'all. Look at that. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That has such good flavor, y'all. With all those seasonings and everything. And then it's just so soft. Mmm. And the rice. Oh, yeah. You gotta try this recipe. I hope you have a great weekend. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, please. And remember, I have YouTube and Instagram, and I love you. Have a great night. Peace out, and be kind.